welcome back to the channel as you can see we're gonna cook something with chicken but we're gonna do it the simple and easy way thank you for my current subscribers newcomers go ahead and join the family and push that red subscribe button we're gonna get right into this video I got my handy dandy uh, assistant and he's washing our chicken real good we are putting this chicken in the crock pot now be mindful we recently cooked some beef ribs and there was a broth left over and the runoff from the meat left in the pot we're gonna leave that in there and go ahead and throw our chicken in there and get this chicken cooked so we can start getting our meal together we're gonna be adding these three seasonings um, a half a teaspoon of the salt free original seasoning probably a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of the garlic pepper and the same with the Italian seasoning everything's to flavor so if you like any of these you can go ahead and put a whole teaspoon there's no salt in any of these we are also going to be adding a, at least a cup of water to this kind of let it cook a while and if you see the water's getting low add it and if not let it be all right, we've added all our ingredients and now all we're gonna do is just set it and forget it. Put that baby on high and goodbye. All right, once the chicken is done, we're gonna add two pre-cooked packs of rice that we get from Trader Joe's in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's three minute rice, it only takes three minutes, so once you add it, it'll be fine. And we're also gonna add a bag of this quinoa to the mix. Be mindful, the quinoa mix that we added also had some sweet potato, uh, zucchini, um, a little cayenne pepper, some garlic puree, roasted cumin, lemon juice, and some other um, favorable ingredients. They're going to really take the dish up. So we're going to go ahead and mix this in and leave this in the crock pot another 20 minutes or so and then come back and let you see how it's done. Now remember at this point, the chicken is done. So it's just like at melt in your mouth level at this point. So we're just adding the rices and the quinoa mix just to take the nutritional value up a little bit and to give it a little mm or, you know, to make it a little bit more satiating, okay? We're gonna also add a can of cream of celery, uh, condensed soup. Now be mindful, this does have a salt value to it. So any other uh, vegetables or ingredients you wanna add as far as flavoring, just make sure there's no salt or sodium uh, value to it. After adding your celery soup to the mix, at this point you can take and just take a whole um, jalapeno pepper and just stick it in there and it will take the heat up on it the longer you leave it in the hotter it will make the mix you don't even have to cut it open or anything just put the whole pepper down in there and those of you all who don't want any heat at all then you can just omit that part as this cooks and you stir it around you will see some of the bones so just go ahead and get your container and pick those out trust me don't use the boneless meat. Use the meat with the bone in it. It makes a tremendous difference in the taste of it. Yes, the bones can be, um, you know, can get in your way or whatever, but I don't know. It just changes the flavor of it when you use the boneless meat. It's just not as savory. It's, it's just not the same. So... Be mindful that this little step of just taking the bones out as you stir it around and you find them, just take them out as you go. And then whoever's eating the recipe, just make sure they know that they may find a few. But even some of the ones that I found were almost ready to disintegrate, almost as if when you make a bone soup. Yeah. So when you make a bone broth, almost the same concept, because, you know, if you cook your chicken or even turkey long enough in the crock pot at low you know slow and low those bones will disintegrate down to nothing but they go into the um, rice and chicken and make it so so very nutritional for you 
So just be mindful of that. And um, it's getting close to being done. So we're going to continue to pull out our little bones that we see as we stir it around. And we're going to leave it on. I think it's still got another 10 minutes left. And this will be done.